Good day everyone, this is a crime mapping tutorial series and the first episode of the series is all about setting up the system, setting up the software, hardware and the data that we need. What you see is the interface of the QGIS. This is a software that is free and open source. This is the workhorse of crime mapping. You can see at the center of the of the, of the QJS, the administrative map of Dumaguete City is the hypothetical data that we are going to use, the crime mapping data, the streets, and the legend are on the right side. The first, crime mapping, next, city, streets, next, Dumaguete City without administrative barangays, and next, Dumaguete underscore negros or this is the administrative map of Dumaguete City showing the different barangays of Dumaguete City. You can see on top of QJS the menu we have project, edit, view, layer, settings, logins, vector, raster, database, and so on. And we have different shortcuts, shortcut buttons here and here. But the most important thing and the most frequently visited portion of this software is on this side, the layers. So we have these layers, car mapping, the crime data, city routes or city streets, Dumaguete city without barangays, and Dumaguete negros or with barangays. If we click and check, if we uncheck the layer, it disappears. If we check it, it appears. If we uncheck city streets, it disappears. If we uncheck Dumaguete city without barangays, it disappears. What remains are what remain are the car mapping and the Dumaguete city with barangays. So you can see here the different barangays of Dumaguete city. What if we label the different barangays? We can also do that in just like this. Split it, change. So what we click was this button. Then we chose Dumaguete Negros or here no labels to single labels. And the value is BNGY or the barangay. Then the names of the barangays appear on the center of the map so that's how your map looks like with the crime mapping points on top of the different barangays what if we remove Dumaguete Negros or so we uncheck it check so it disappears then we check Dumaguete city without barangays then the city streets so you can see basically that we have our software QJS. This is software. This is the interface of the QJS. We have the different data, the administrative maps, the layers, Dumaguete with barangays, without barangays, city streets, and car mapping. Now we also need a hardware, of course. What you need is a laptop or a personal computer. Let's talk about first how do we get QJS. How to get QJS? You just download, you just type in Google QJS download. Okay? Then you will be brought to this web page. Click that. Then scroll down, skip it, and go to download. In my case, I am using Mac, so I I downloaded latest version for Mac OS 3.40. This is the latest version of QJS. For you, depending on your computer, the type of computer you are using, you can download QJS for Windows, Linux, BSD, and so on and so forth. So after downloading, you go to downloads then look for the file that you have downloaded 
in my case this was the file that I downloaded from Google QGIS hyphen Marco OS hyphen PR dot DMG so just double tick it and follow the instructions in order to install in your computer or laptop so you have now the software main software next we need to download the data that we need in order to create maps these are the data that we need for this exercise we have in our Google Drive crime mapping folder it includes city streets folder domageti folder without barangays domageti with barangays negros oriental map this is for the whole province and the car mapping excel or spreadsheet data just click it here then click download i have already downloaded it and you can see on my download the folder you have crime mapping in your case it might be a zipped file in order to in order for it to be read by qjs you need to right click it and look for extract in my case it was already been it was already extracted so for you look for so right click then look for extract files or unzip files once you already you have already unzipped it so you are now ready for the exercise but before that let us first take a look of our data we have city streets open it we have different file extension files but what we need is city streets dot shp always remember that the file that qjs reads is an shp file or shape file now let's go to do maggetti without brand okay so same Always remember it should be the shape file for Dumagetti with Baron guys Dumagetti underscore Negros or dot shape file then Negros Oriental Negros Orient Oriental municipalities and cities then just Negros Oriental shape file now for car napping let's click car napping open it for a while I am using by the way WPS maybe you are using Microsoft Office Excel but they have similar functionalities in our data it is hypothetical we have different columns from A to J A month and year B year C month D day, day E barangay F hour of, hour of day then hour converted to 24 hours then H the longitude or X coordinate I latitude or the Y coordinate and the crime carnapping all of these are carnapping so there are 126 so there are very few okay but before we can map the spreadsheet in our QJS we need first to convert this into a CSV file how to convert the Excel file into a CSV file just go to file or menu in my case look for save as click it then here we have file name for easy reference and retrieval add csv underscore car napping for file type look for csv comma delimited the extension should be dot csv so click it so file name csv car napping file type csv comma delimited click save I'm saving it in the downloads folder so that it will be easy for me to locate it since I have just downloaded the crime mapping data. 
but you can uh, save it in any other folder for easy retrieval click save then close it so you are now ready for crime mapping uh, you have ready the software you have ready the hardware you have already the data that we need in the next of this of this episode in the second episode we will turn to how to map crimes using point mapping system what you see on the, on the screen is a point map this is an example of point map so see you on the second episode